welcome back guys in the second part my internet was down so i could not update it earlier on so what we are given is that our share capital is Twenty five and sixty five, right? Twenty five and sixty five. This is retained earning. Earning, right? And then after that, other component of equity. How much is this? Six, right and then total is 1110 6 and then the total being 110 right so what is the total sum of all this is 96 right so what we will need to do is that this minus 1110 minus 96 okay so this will be our fair value adjustment I think it's land, right? Non depreciable land, so no need to worry about depreciation, right? Anything else? Mm, we don't need to, we don't have the information for at reporting date, so uh, what we will do is we'll just continue on like this, okay? Working on three, calculation of goodwill, right? Calculation. of goodwill bold it cost of investment mm. a value of NCI less net assets at ACQ Minus this figure, right? Total goodwill at acquisition. So, what's the cost? 80 and then NCI is 45, 80 and 45. Any impairment? Hmm, it will have been impaired annually and as at 30th April, so exactly one year ago, had been reduced by 20 percent, right? Goodwill at 30 April to 0 x3, right? Minus this 12, right? Anything else associated with goodwill? I think there is a reversal as well. The impairment of the goodwill had reversed, and the goodwill was valued 2 million above its original value. Okay, so that means it was increased by plus two right so it was this plus two now it has increased to 17 right in case of goodwill it does not get reversed so we don't need to worry about it so okay that's done so what's the difference net difference being Mm, now it's 17 minus 12 right so 5 is the other income nope it's yeah it's that's what the net changes in there so what else do we need to 
be worried about is let's working note all right so this will be disposal okay of shares in nathan how do we calculate that proceeds so since we do we have not lost control right proceeds and then carrying amount of investment so how much was the proceed that we received hmm. 8% equity interest in Nathan on 30th April 20x4 for a cash consideration of 18 million had been accounted in uh, for the gain or loss in other income. Okay, we carry amount of the net assets at 30th April 20x4 was 120 million before any adjustment on consolidation. Okay, merchant accounts for the investment in subsidiaries using IFRS 9 and then the carrying amount of the investment in Nathan was uh, 90 and then at this state it was 95, right? So how much are we giving them? 8 divided by So 18 million is that and then after that 8 divided by um, sixty into 95 right so 60 percent is 95 that means 8 percent will be 12.67 right so this will be minus okay so what we will do is this plus this this will be profit on disposal pull is not lost so it's not a big event okay and then after that what have we done so acquired this thing as well right so acquired information should not basically affect anything the only thing we should be considered considering about is So merchant acquired 60% of the equity interest in option of public limited company on 30th April 20X4X2. Okay, so exactly two years back. And then the purchase consideration was cash 70 million. Options are in viable assets were fair value at uh, 86. And then NCI was 28 at that date. On 1st November 20X3, option merchant disposed of 40% of its interest in option for a consideration of 50 million okay let's write it down so mm -hmm. disposal proceeds a value of will that disposal net assets less NCI at disposal right NCI at disposal so what's the goodwill will at disposal is so let's find out let's find out working note six six calculation will of what is this company option 
load let's just copy our format from top Will be same thing and then what is our investment? 70. Seventy and twenty-eight. This right. And then minus what's the net identifiable assets? Uh, net identifiable assets at the date at acquisition date, right? 86 million. 86. And this plus this, right? So 12 is our goodwill. Right, so any impairment regarding the goodwill? So goodwill had been impairment tested, no impairment was required, right? And then what else we are given? I think we've been given the disposal amount as well. The net identifiable assets were 90 and then fair value of NCI was 34 at the date of disposal. Okay, 90 and 34. 90 and 34 minus 34. This will be this figure, right? We don't have to compute it in this question, otherwise, normally we should have notes how disposal proceeds, remaining interest 40, 50. So 50, 40. This plus this is equals to 90 minus 68. This is profit on this one. And this one is not profit, okay? And this is no profit this is just other income so what we will do is that let's prepare our other income so we are given for other income 21 7 and 2 right 21 7 and 2 21 plus 7 plus 2 right and then 2 is not for the whole year isn't it it's only for six months into 6 divided by 12 and then how much was the income that we've already realized by selling our interest is that so see this is in acquired basis right whereas this has already been sold right so that will be our figure okay so this will be like this and then after that uh, administrative cost any administrative cost any administrative cost that we need to worry about 15 9 and 12 15 9 and 12 so first thing first 15 plus 9 plus 12 into 6 divided by 12 right get it out of the way Mm, any administrative cost that we missed <laughs> no 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 what is this this is PURP I mean uh, intra group transaction right so no need to worry about that for a while and then goodwill impairment so in this options it has not been impaired whereas in this case it has been already impaired but it's already been uh, until this month right until this year it has already been reduced in value by 20% as at 30th April and then in this year it was increased mm -hmm. so that figure will come in 
other expense let's not put it in administrative expense okay we still have other heading right does not say where to keep it but other expense 35 19 and 8 35 19 and 8 35 plus 19 plus 8 uh, Or we could just write four as well, six divided by twelve plus. How much is that? Goodwill is five, right? That's how much it has been reversed by. So that means our figure will be this minus this minus this minus this mm -hmm. that's the case but this is other income this will be added right plus So we have raised operating profit, right? So let's see. The other thing that is important, let's not miss out, is profit on disposal. Profit on disposal. How much did we dispose of? Working note four, right? Four. And then this figure will be from here not four as well five okay working out five I'm right let's prepare for working out for intra good transaction as well okay working out seven Bold it. What is seven transition? How much is the intrago transaction? the loss we don't need to worry about that 12 million right well okay so working out seven right income is working note four right we deducted something from there and in other expense as well we added up that figure from goodwill and profit on disposal is done and then after that share of profit in case of subsidiary we don't need to worry about it because it's still subsidiary whereas in case of associate it's now associate right so associate is how much is the profit it's 15 right so 15 into 6 divided by 12 because half of the year we have already consolidated it 16 into so this is the full profit into our share is 20 percent only left right so 1.5 anything we are missing in case of profit mm -hmm. what else is there finance cost 
finance income finance cost there is nothing regarding this as well Frankly, right there is no any deferred consideration nothing of that sort as well so no need to worry much about it So finance cost is how much is it? Five six four five six two right five plus six plus two okay I just did it directly or what I'll do is I won't do it directly then might be easier to understand later on as well the other users of this Excel sheet so six five eight six five eight six five eight six plus five plus eight into six divided by twelve fifteen right so this will give us profit before tax before tax right so first thing first uh, income will be added and then this will be subtracted hmm this will be added this will be added and then this will be added and then minus after that this subtracted right so income tax ends will basically be all of three and then only half for that 19 9 and 5 19 9 and 5 19 plus 9 plus 5 into 6 divided by 12 30.5 so this will be minus minus this profit for the year for the year right so let's prepare OCI as well so what have we been given in OCI or the comprehensive income comprehensive income right so it was equity that they valued at uh, yeah, that's what it said right basically so items which will not be WHIS yes, which will not be reclassified to profit or loss right so we have a revaluation surplus in a revaluation gain or changes in revaluation surplus right so what's that figure so let's add everything for three ten plus two right ten plus two and the other thing that i noticed was this figure over here so it's always going in oci right so you can't do that so how much did they actually put over there is the figure from there so on the disposal they had a gain right so what they did was they had already put this figure inside over here so Mm, this gain I mean yeah that's the figure that they have put in right so I'll just make it seven or I write working note working note for anything else I don't think so the comprehensive income will be this plus this so let's attribute this profit attribute table to parent NCI right so how much will it be 
for NCI. Let's calculate that as well. Working note eight. So in case of NCI, how much is it getting? Yeah, right. Okay, so nineteen. So share of Nathan. Nineteen, right? Nineteen into how much is their holding percentage? Forty percent, right? Before the disposal date. Seven point six, and then share of profit of um, option, right? So they get it for six months only. So six months into their holding percentage. So fifteen into Fifteen into six divided by twelve into zero point four. Right, so this will be there. Profit or NCI, right? okay so what we need to be aware about is why i was just thinking about that so see how the holding is 40 percent whereas when was the sale that took place that is also important okay so disposed of on 30th april okay so if it had been in the middle of the year what we had to do is that we would also have said again okay because suppose let's say if the sale took place within media right so what we will need to do is that we will need to break it down as such i'll show it to you so 19 right so first of all what we will need to do is that 19 into 6 divided by 12 okay so that will be for your n into how much is the holding percent 0.4 right so once that's done and then after that what we will do is that 19 into 6 divided by 12 into suppose the holding percentage has now changed right the NCI has increased to 48 percent so 0 0.48 okay so see how the figures are different and then basically what you should get is that Mm, this into 6 divided by 12 into 0 0.6 okay and this figure into 6 divided by 12 into 0 0.52 all right so it will basically be divided okay
the half of the year it will be 9.5 into 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 right so let's see the total okay i'm just adding it up this plus let's see 9.5 and then this two if you add it up it will be 9.5 okay so that's how you will have to break it down but in this case in this case the sale took place on state on 30th april 20x4 so it was at the end of the period okay that's why we are doing it this way 19 into 0 0.4 right. so once that's done what we will do is let's take this figure over here so i think it's working of eight or something yep so I-57, 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 this figure minus this figure, this will basically be the balancing figure, BF. So what about total comprehensive income? Total comprehensive income. Attributable to same thing, let's copy and paste it. And then the figure will be total comprehensive figure will be this. So we will need to calculate NCI one more time. Nine, right? So note nine total comprehensive income TCI for NCI, right? So In case of Nathan, how much is it getting? So it is basically getting how much was the profit? So it's 21, right? 21. 21 into 0 0.4. 0.4 in case of this fellow associate it's getting 15 into 15 into 6 divided by 12 into 0.4 this plus this figure so this is i63 right i63 I 63 and then this figure will be this figure minus this figure okay so that's how we divide it so let's move on to two number okay next question so we will do that in another part okay guys